Good afternoon. So, so Isaac, the uh, in your book, you try to explain the the unity of uh, primeval history, and you you show that it has a thematic unity or a, a meaning to it. Uh, but how about the poetry of it or the beauty of it? Is there something you can say about that? Ah, yes, a lot to say about this. The beauty of a literature comes from first, what, what, whatever that is, we have to read the story, read the words. But when we come to the Bible, most people don't read the Bible. We just quote somebody else. Or even if you go to the Bible, you read just a verse or so. But if you read the whole story, then we may have a totally different understanding of that story. Shall we try with the creation story? In the creation story, we have six days of doing things, and the seventh day, God rests. So, in the first day, what God did was to separate, after creating the light, He separated the light and darkness. That is day number one. Day number two, he separated the, <coughs> the waters above the heaven, the rain waters, locked up in the uh, sky, and the sea water. He divided up the water in two sections. And the third day, he divided the water and the land. And he planted on the land all the plants. So the, the, the first three days are really the three days of setting the furniture. For next three days, in next three days, all the moving guys are filling these areas. They are divided up. In the fourth day, the, the light and darkness areas are filled up with the sun and the moon and the stars. So, let there be light at the very beginning. He did not create uh, in this makeup the, the sun at all. Sun was created in the fourth day. And the fifth day, the waters above the heaven and the, uh, 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 the sea water, they were filled with uh, uh, living creatures, birds and fishes. And in the sixth day, the, uh, all other creatures on land were created, and the people got created at the end. Now, this is six, but let's listen to how the six days were organized. The first three days are dividing, dividing, dividing. The next uh, three days are filling, filling, filling all the divided uh, areas. But remember, in the first day, God saw that it was good. He liked his creation, but from the second day, does he say he saw that it was good? No, it was missing. The th third day, he said three, uh, twice that he saw that it was good, that he saw it was good. Why twice? Th let's suspend that question. In the fourth day, he said, it was good, it was good, and the sixth day, it was good, after he created all the creatures, and then he created people, and he said what? He saw that it was very good. Now, let's add, add up the, the word good once, twice, and, uh, and so the third uh, uh, story, repeating that it was good twice, looks as though it was compensated for the second uh, day. If you read it uh, uh, casually, you think God has said it, uh, that it was good every day. That's our impression. But from the second day, it's missing. And the third day, it was uh, repeated twice. And the fourth day once, fifth day once, sixth day, twice again. And the second time, it says, not just it was good, but it was very good. So the seventh one is totally different from the 
first six. And that's a relative, uh, the, the narrative structure of the uh, seventh-day creation story. story. Uh, on the seventh day, what happens? God rests. And the seventh story is in chapter 2 of the book of Genesis. And look at the style of the, uh, uh, chap the uh, six, seventh day narrative. Very different from the other six days. So, seven is somehow very, very important. Why? If you listen to Hebrew, the Hebrew word for seven is Shabbat. And the Hebrew word for rest is Shabbat. There is a word play, there is a pun in Hebrew. So, this creation story was organized in seven. Good, very good, and six days and a, a, a seventh day uh, rest. So, I would like to rename this story, the uh, creation story, the creation of the Sabbath story. Then we don't get involved all the you know who uh, which who uh, was created first and what happened uh, this and that and sequence and all that but the genius of this is that plants are created on the third day as a furniture of the uh, uh, creation and the next three days the animals are created they move around and they have to eat the plants so plants are uh, uh, created first, and that's exactly the way pr present uh, uh, theory of evolution states. The plants must have come uh, before the animals who can eat them. So this I have uh, been so impressed with. Uh, so this I would like to call the very systematic, logical, scientific way of approaching the text. Let's first, for the primary uh, 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 evidence, what we have is the sequence of the words. And let's take, the, take seriously of that and then see what kind of, how the story would un unfold and what the artistry of that uh, 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 narrative. And you will be so surprised, it's so beautiful. So go ahead and read not only just the, this verse or that verse, but the whole story at a time. And then put together the, with the next story and next story. You would be amazed at the new information, the new awareness that would come from the ancient Near East. Thank, Thank you. you, Isaac.